All right, so get down by the water here and I'll get in there and catch them soon. This is Mark. Say hi, just your face. Hi. And uh, we cheat, hold up your tongue so they can see. We can catch them by hand, but uh, good old tongs are a cheap, are cheap way to do it much faster. And we use, we've had um, uh, traps in the past, but the traps are not built for crawdads that are this size. They're way too big. So, uh, see how easy that is to hold them with that? So if you were to catch by hand, you would have to grab in that little space right behind their head. See how it's almost like drawn on their back? Because then they can't reach you, even with their little pinchies. And of course they just are super yummy to eat. So we don't quite have enough to make a meal out of yet, but we'll let you know when we do. Got one down there? Yeah. Let me see what's in your bucket. Oh, I don't know if I could see that far. No, can't see in it. There's, you said there's about six in there just in, since you just started? Yeah. Go ahead and get one. I want to video you catching one. I'm trying to wait for the dust to clear. Got him? Yep. Nice. So this creek, I think I might have said this already, but this creek, once upon a time, was commercially fished for crayfish or crawdads because it's basically infested when it's the right time of year. It's pretty easy to catch your fill. The water up to a boil and put some salt in there. Put them on. So the water is hot enough. Are you ready? And drain off all the other water from the. Yeah, I got it. Sammy's gonna do that for me. Drain off. And she's drinking the poison. Yeah, Ready? They only cook for five minutes, but of course they get up to a boil. There we go. And then these guys will cook. Get the water back up to a boil. Cook them for five minutes. And we'll have ourselves a feast. You guys, napkins. Okay, find the biggest me. one and show them off to me. Don't eat them yet. This one's pretty good size. Hot. Everyone's taking a